Hey guys, uh, what's up? So um, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about colors and color theory just to give a little perspective, idea and direction. Um, I'm going to be covering three different things. Um, one is how an existing company and in this case Airbnb how they pick colors and what what was their thought process behind it now I'm not saying that I know the answer but this is but I'm going to talk about what I think is the logic uh, that they had when picking the color uh, number two is I'll show you an example of one of my projects my own personal projects that I did um, and third is I'm going to show you how you can sort of think about picking colors for UI so let me just dive right in. So I'm going to come over here to the part where you've got all these colors. Now, when you're looking at colors specifically for UI design, you want to split them into two groups. One is your actual color colors, which is, you know, these three colors in this case. And then you've got neutral colors. Now, neutral colors are very simple. Um, it's usually, you know, a pure white or an off white color for your background. And then you've got multiple grays uh, for your dividers, text, secondary text, um, and you know, stuff like that. So those are pretty simple to create. There's nothing complicated in that. The complicated part is creating these this color palette. Now, everybody has their own method of creating colors. Uh, and I'm going to show you my method of picking colors uh, and the logic I use. Now, you don't have to follow my method if you prefer somebody else's method or if you have your own method, please go for it. But for those of you who want to just something to start with, you can think about this uh, method that I'm going to show you. Now, the first thing to note is that you always have to start with your first primary brand color. Now, in Airbnb, it's this color. Um, it's this hot pink color and uh, you know, there, you've also got the contrast ratio over here, but let's not talk about that in this video. Now, is it your job to pick this color? As a product designer, no, your job is mainly to, you know, work with the colors because the branding, the identity, the graphic design team, they sort of work with the logo and they pick out the colors, uh, especially the brand color, right? Um, so let's say this is Airbnb's brand color. Now, the thing with color is that when you're using colors in UI design, you always need to understand that color is not a decorative thing. Color always has a meaning. It's indicating something to the user. And uh, I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to come down to the, I'm going to come down here to the screens and let's 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 look at uh, something where where have they used uh, this? And these, these, these are the old designs. But as you can see over here that they've used these colors for the for showing the active tab for the selected tag over here and then CTA, um, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about these, this color later, but primarily Airbnb uses just this one color across their entire app. Uh, you know, you can go to any screen uh, and you can find it, right? Um, let me see if I can find a few more screens here. Uh, all right, I don't think I can see. So they're using that. Now, second, is they've got this additional color. Now, where is this color used, right? Now, this color is sometimes seen on the profile tab or they're usually seen as text links. Now, if you use the Airbnb app and go to the profile tab, you can see this color being used over there. This is sort of their secondary color, right? And if I show you the screens over here, you can see that, I mean, the images are quite uh, pixelated, so you can't see it, but all these text fields, oh, sorry, the text links such as edit, user input. Um, I don't know what this is, but basically all these things uh, are, you know, they've not used the primary color. They've used the secondary color, which is this, this, uh, you know, cyan, you know, dark cyan. I don't know what this is called, but it's some sort of a bluish color, right? Now, the question is, how do you go about picking this color? Now, there are many, many ways of doing it. And I feel, um, you know, you know, I think I know how they pick this color. So let's let's do something. So I'm going to go and take this color code and I'm going to go to this website called Adobe Color, which has this color wheel. Now, you've got a lot of ways of picking colors. Now, sometimes when you want a complementary color, um, usually to find a very contrasting color, you pick colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. Right now, sometimes you don't want such a vast or a big, uh, you know, uh, um, what is the word? Um, 
a range like a you don't want a huge distinction you want somewhere which is closer uh, to your initial color so let me go and take this so ff 5a 5f so i'm going to go to triad this time and i'll type in ff 5a 5f okay now what have what adobe color does it gives you these sort of you know five additional colors and now it's uh let me check if the colors got five ff five a five got it now you've got these additional colors now you can pick these colors to be in your color palette now yellow is a color that contrasts well with this hot pink color but like i said think about where and what is the purpose you're using this color for now here they used this secondary color for text links right which which is over here but imagine using this yellow color or even like a dark yellow color over here right the legibility wouldn't be really good it won't meet the contrast ratios it won't be visible right so maybe that's the reason they didn't go with this color now let's take this example you, let's just, let's take this color now this is like a very bright red which sort of is very similar to the hot pink and you can see that you know uh, this is very bright and this is a little dull so you know it won't really make sense to have two similar colors and now you've got these two blue colors now they could have definitely used these two colors but what they have sort of done is they've picked you know a sort of different you know like they've combined a little bit of green and they've combined a little bit of blue right it's not perfectly green it's not perfectly blue it's somewhere in the middle now when you're picking colors there's no hard and fast rule that you actually have to pick these two you know you have to pick these colors because you know this color wheel provides it you can go ahead and tweak and play around with it um and you know find the color that you know best suits you now you can see if you pick if you just look at these two colors you can see that there's a good amount of contrast between do these two colors they're not very bright they're not very dull they feel they have the same level of brightness and contrast uh, um and you know saturation so that's how you sort of pick colors now they could have picked this color and then played around with you know these values pretty much like this and you know you you you're almost getting the color I just move this a little bit and maybe they thought this would be a better color now i don't know if that's how they did it but you know that's one way that you can go about picking a secondary or a you know an, or an accent color right great now the next one is they've got this color which is this orange color now again think about where are you going to use this orange color if you if you don't have a place or a valid reason to use it don't use it so let's come down over here to the screens and they've used it over here now they've actually used it as sort of an alert or an indication thing so you know this is there's an alert message here it says pending um now which is it's trying to depict a state now, you know success would be green um you know you would not primarily use blue because people would think that's a text link um now they could have used red right but you know their primary brand color is already hot pink so you know using red would not be the best uh color so they sort of went with this orangish you know little bit of red fill with it so you need to have a logic and a reason for picking a certain color now those are the only three colors now the majority of the colors you're going to see are this and you know your blacks right you're not going to see these two colors used anywhere so don't feel that you need five six colors in your color palette ready to be used take your time start with one color the moment you feel you need for another color then go ahead and uh, you know find a new color and use it for that particular purpose now i'm going to show you another example of one of my projects so let me just go to my behance projects and i'm going to go to this so this is one of my recent projects and um, what i did was i started with one color right which was what is my primary brand color and look over here this is my primary brand color to and uh, to show you where i've used it you can um you know you can see here that i've used it for buttons i've used it for you know like again uh, you know floating action button over here for headings uh basically you know my primary color has been used in majority of the places other than my neutral colors my neutral colors are grays dividers text and stuff like that so that's one the second is primary text borders background and secondary text these are neutral colors now i didn't go for like a complete black uh you know a uh, black gray 
color i went with a little bit of blue um, and that's okay a lot of you know a lot of apps use a little bit of blue uh, and add it to their black so forget these four colors just forget these four colors now the only other two colors i had were these two you know these the, the, and i've used this only for numbers right to give you an example over here you can see that you know anything positive is green so i've found a green color and anything negative is is red now i haven't used like a proper red color i've pretty much used a similar you know orange color um to it because i didn't want to use like a complete red and the rest of the colors that you see here are sort of accent colors um and these don't really have a meaning but to show to give you an example of why i've picked those colors is because let me see if i can get this to load um uh so basically what i did was i wanted to use those colors for categories so anything that's entertainment related i would have them in purple color if anything that would have in green is your food and drink anything in home is electronics now i didn't pick all these colors in the beginning when i was designing the screen and i realized that maybe i should use a color code for you know a particular category that's when i'm going to go ahead and pick a color now there was no logic for this i just wanted different different colors so just purple green blue red yellow pink whatever so that's about it but my main colors uh you know which i'm using in the color palette is are 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 all these colors right now how do you pick another additional color now in this case i just have one primary color and then these two are sort of like error states and positive and negative stuff so they're, they're pretty much going to be in the greens and they're going to be in the reds but let's say you want another color right Uh, for example what airbnb did you you wanted this extra color this wasn't to indicate positivity negativity or error states or anything it was just another color for text links now let's say you need an app you have you're designing an app and you've got a primary color and you want a secondary color how do you go about finding it now there are many ways to do it like obviously this is one but if you're a little bit lazy and you just don't want to use all this complex stuff go the simple route and that is to use dribble Now what you want to do is just open up any shot okay once you open up any shot come over here you're going to see this color palette things just click on any color right just click on any color what that does if you see the url it says dribble.com/shots and then you've got the color code over here what basically does what basically happens is dribble will pull out all the dribble shots that have that color so i'm going to go and get this exact code again which is ff5a5f um pro here ff 5a 5f okay and now it's going to pull all the dribble shots that have that color now uh, in the previous version of dribble you could actually choose the amount of percentage of color that was there in a particular shot um but i don't know how to do that anymore i guess they have removed that functionality but as you can see over here you're going to find that similar color being used everywhere and now you can go ahead and figure out which color you think would be nice based on your requirement now if you're creating some promotional image or a graphic you can go with you know any sort of color red but let's think about airbnb they're finding this color for text links right now would red be a good option for text links maybe not right uh, so you keep going and you've got this you know uh this you know cyan color maybe the contrast is not that good enough they've got purple purple would have been a good option right but maybe we don't know what the reason they chose right um you've got this yellow you've got this pink so just keep scrolling until you find it and now you're getting a lot of greens right so now this green was pretty much similar to this green it's quite similar and that because it's it's good contrast um and it greatly it greatly it it very well distinguishes uh, the colors So you can put any color you want and then find you know colors that you know work to your requirement. Um and this is one of the best ways to pick colors. You don't really need to know all those fancy sliders and all the terminologies and stuff. Maybe you know down the line it would be interesting to know and have that knowledge but I mean you're starting out it really isn't important. Uh the important the, the thing you need to pay attention to is to understand why are you picking that color and does that color picking and does picking that color make sense in the context you want to use it for right that is the only thing that you need to do right and make sure it passes the contrast ratios it's legible and all that stuff so that's straight forward so there, there are a lot of things over here so you can just keep scrolling and find ones um you know that you like 
um i think the first shot over here itself that they've got this you know uh you know dark green color which is pretty much is very sim similar to the one over here this is less saturated um and this is more saturated um um so yeah that's the difference so keeping all this in mind uh you know just be very careful and you know make sure you think that think properly when you, you when you're selecting colors um i'm sure, i know i know this this isn't like a very detailed exhaustive video but i hope this gives some sort of perspective and some sort of ideas uh and probably gives you a direction of how you can think when you're picking colors so i hope you guys enjoy this video